What's up, what's up? Balaram Shakti here for another edition of Mosh React, the series where I listen to something for the first time and I see if it makes me want to move, groove, stage dive, bang my head, get a little wild, get a little crazy. I apologize. It has been a while since I've done a Mosh React. Hey, life got in the way, but I'm here today to sit with Sub Zero. Sub Zero. 90s New York hardcore legends, fucking gritty New York shit. Put out uh, EP 7 inch uh, right at the end of last year, but I never got a chance to really listen to it. Um, it's called House of Grief. So the last time uh, people were watching was, uh, you know, 97, they put out this awesome album called uh, was it, Happiness Without Peace. It's got um, some. Um, Nice Krishna consciousness lyrics and just um, just a really uh, well paced album. And then um, in I think it was 2003, they came out with Necropolis, right? So it was damn. And I see they uh, I guess they re-recorded that track um, from there. But I want to listen to this new one called House of Grief. This is Sub Zero. And I'm like, yo, y'all still bringing it? The cover of this album has got like a skeleton on the front, like, like it's choking itself and shit. I fuck with that. Let's see about these riffs though. Let's see about these riffs. All right, here we go. House of Grief. Oh, let me just say that. Just when you're a kid. Always like this. Building up and building. Oh, yeah. 
Gus Grief was sick. That was a cool song. I, I, you know, I thought it, I feel like maybe, you know, it, they did what I thought. It, they saved the mosh for the end. And I was like, yo, man, some of that, some of that could have been a little earlier. However, with that said, what I do appreciate, I appreciate about the song is that the mosh wasn't obvious. It was well constructed to where the song could breathe and exist on its own without having to rely on like the mosh being the big thing, you know, of everything. So, um, yeah, this was interesting. You know, the sound sample, the little bridge, little interlude, you know, that was more bass driven. Um, the vocals, yeah, very, very passionate. Um, just very, uh, just a high sense of urgency, uh, sounding almost, almost like crying in some parts, like, yo, Sub-Zero, y'all getting super emotional on me, hey, all right, you know, this track was cool, I, I, re I dig that, it didn't make me, like, mosh insane, however, I don't think that's the point, of, you know, that's not the point of this song, um, yeah, I know this other track, Necropolis, I've heard that, see, damn, that one's got the, the double breaks, <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a banger for sure uh, house of grief you know I'm I'm very you know the cool thing is I'm intrigued I would like for this to be a full LP with more tracks so we can get the full scope of vision of what's happening here because I think a full album would be very very awesome and it have you know peaks and valleys and ups and downs and it, you know it'll be thematic and tell a story you know Sub-Zero is fucking sick this track is awesome. I am about it. So if you don't fuck with Sub-Zero, you need to. If you have not heard the album Happiness Without Peace, please check it out. And then check out the uh, one they dropped in what, 2003, which has uh, Necropolis on it with other material. Um, so yeah, so this is, they re-recorded it, but uh, for this EP, this is cool. Check out Sub-Zero, Real Deal New York Hardcore. Well, folks. This has been Mosh React. I am Balaram Shakti. Until next time, see ya. And again, I'm going to be more on top of putting out more, what do you say, content? Ooh. All right, y'all. Take care.